everyone, it's Nona Grace, and today has been a very unusual day. I will share with you in this video some other videos of my day, and I didn't do the last little bit. I probably should have had the camera with that, but I was so focused on watching Jim um, herd my chickens in. They, it's been raining terrible, and you will see in the videos, and my chickens were getting really wet and they didn't want to go into their their um, house because I couldn't blame them because when I stepped in to go take the gate off of the little chicken house that's inside the big enclosed area there was probably I don't know maybe three inches of water three or four yeah. three four inches of water I stepped in and I go whoa and so I moved some cedar blocks, cinder blocks, cinder. not cedar, <laughs> cinder blocks to try to help. So when Jim got me a board that it could be put on the board and then the ch chickens could get in. And they, he had to dig ditches to make the water go another way. Oh, it was a flood. It was terrible today really We've, terrible. I think the news said we had like an inch and a half of rain since two o'clock or it one o'clock. It just poured. And I will show you the pouring. And we did have a little sunshine. I can show you that too because I did try to see if I could see Emma's baby because I wanted to see how many babies she had and she's still on the nest. She won't get off the nest until she thinks all of the eggs that are going to hatch have hatched. You hear her doing her little cluck 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 talking to them to encourage them to try to break out of their shell. So she's still doing that. So maybe there's going to be more than one baby. But so far, there's just one. Then when we were trying to get all the babies, everybody in, uh, D Dorothy was on the little roost on the outside with all of her babies underneath her. And I really wanted her on the inside of the little chicken house. So I picked up a couple babies, put them in. And then I picked up Dorothy and put them in. And I picked up the other babies and got them in, all except for one. One little one decided to jump the wrong way, ran outside of the out of the enclosed run, ran down to the pine tree, squawking the whole time, calling its mama while its mama was in the nice, warm, cozy house because I had put her in. And every time I went down to try to get encourage that little one to come back up, it would go deeper underneath the pine. And it was so soggy out there. We have rivers uh, just running through the lawn. And and the, you'll see the flood if you haven't yet, which <laughs> you haven't. But um, you'll, And finally, 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 the little baby comes peeping up this way. And I got it to run into the enclosed area. And it went up the ramp and back up into the house. Then I'm trying to coax the other chickens in by calling them for chicken scratch excuse me and um what happens is the other ones that are in the house started coming out and the baby started coming i go oh no 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 so i ended up dumping the chicken scratch in the dish and i rattled the container and finally finally i just gave up i figured well i put the food there they should be coming well they may have come in but they but they're afraid of jim so they stayed back. They were soggier than soggy. I hope they don't get sick with all this wetness. But they looked like ducks instead of chickens. And um, finally, Blackie comes out from under the tree. The big black bird, not the little Blackie. Little Blackie's the one that the rooster likes. Bigger Blackie is the one the rooster doesn't seem to pay much attention to. Comes running from the pine tree. Ran, 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 ran past all the girls and ran and jumped into the enclosed run. Then another one went in, and then finally, finally, the rooster went in, and then here's Jim. He's got himself going like this, trying to, trying to um, guide them in and hoping that they don't run the opposite direction. And they finally went in, and he shut the door. Well, a little while later, I noticed, Brownie, what are you doing out? You're not supposed to be out. Well, everybody had gone in except for Brownie. So I went out to open the door, and of course Brownie runs the other direction when you, when he, when she sees you. But I open and I opened the door, hoping that nobody else would come out, which nobody did. And then I 
locked it against the fence like I usually do and then I walked a bigger circle around and the brownie got scared of me and went boop 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 and into the into the enclosed run and so then I shut the door again and right now they're all in there shaking their feathers and trying to dry themselves up and Jim had dug a bunch of ditches and it was draining out and it was looking so much better in there but boy what a mess now I'm going to put the video in right here so you can see what I'm talking about. It stopped raining, the sun is shining. We're going to see if we can see anything in Emma's box. Oh, she's puffing up. That's, that's a good sign. You got more babies coming there, Emma? We had sunshine, now we've got pouring rain. I'm not going to open it, Jake. It's too wet out there. You don't want to go out. And it was sunshine for just a little bit. Now there's puddles even over into the chicken area. I came outside to just share my weather. Look at how it's coming off the... Oh, the gutter. Well, I'm getting wet. The wind is actually blowing this way. Woo! I missed the thunder. There was a big rumble. There was the mud hole that Alex was playing in yesterday. Let's see what the downspout's doing. Oh my goodness. Water is just pouring out of the downspout. Wow. Oh, it's cold out here. It was 60 something degrees. Now it's crazy cold. And look at the river in my chicken run. Can you see the water path? It is coming down really hard. Oh, I put my sweater on, but it's really, it's not warm. It was 62, now it's, I don't know what it is, but it feels, whenever it's wet, it feels really cold. It's like a river flowing. The French drain can't even take it off. It's just coming right down the hill. Ooh. Well, enjoy my weather. If you have heat and sunshine, enjoy that too. I hope everybody's in the hen house. I think they are. Oh, even that bush has got a flood around it. We'll go in the gazebo. Let's see what we see. Oh, the wind isn't as bad here. Here you can see the downspout again. Oh, feel that breeze. Oh, look at that. It's, my mud hole is now wider. My camera's getting wet, and so am I. So we're going back in. Oh, boy, even the porch. This is, the wind is just blowing really bad. When I left the door open, hopefully the screen is shut. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Oh, it's dark in here. It's dark with the storm out there. I want to show you something that my daughter just made note to me. I could see the flooding of our land. Oh, it's really squishy. I showed you the rain earlier. And this is the mud hole that Alex was playing in. Well, today it's a real mud hole. But this isn't what I wanted to show you. I want to show you across this driveway, the water. It's, a, it's like a little lake. Look at this water. This is ridiculous. The creek is really running and everything is flooding. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm right up next to it. It's probably deep in there, so I won't be going in there. Ooh, it's cold out here. I didn't even put a sweater on to show you this. I'll show you the crick if I can get to the crick so you can see. And the other day the crick had very little water in it. Today it's probably flowing like a river. They're very bushes are got thorns. Okay, we're walking in the woods, taking you for a little stroll. There's the creek. 
Let me get over here so you can see what I can see. See the water rushing? Oh my goodness. The rain was just coming down like crazy. A lot of times they have to put flares across the road over there because it will um, flood the road when it does this. through there it is really soggy 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 well I hope you enjoyed this little outing it's actually not too cold out I don't have a sweater on and I'm not freezing but I do get chilled every now and then oh look at this it made like a river in their driveway a small their, their driveway got washed out a little bit See, this is what happens when it rains. And over here, our up above will never dry up if this keeps going on. I'll wash my boots off while I walk through here. I washed a lot of stuff down here, leaves from somewhere. And the chicken area, look at that. They've got flooding in their area, which they never have flooding in their area. But they'll find worms, I'm sure. Wood chips got pushed out here. It was really raining. Raining big time. And Emma, I can't, still can't see her babies. She's been sitting on them. I don't know how many she has. But we'll check again just to see if I can see anything. Hey, Emma, are you going to let us see anything? Oh, don't. Don't snap at me. I don't see anything. Okay. That's it. Well, now we'll go in. Oh, okay. Isn't that crazy how the world has just dumped so much water on us? And those of you that needed rain and wanted me to send you some, I really wish I could have sent you some today. I'm hoping, we're supposed to have sunshine tomorrow, they say, and then the next two days it's supposed to rain again. So aren't we just so lucky to have all this rain? And then it's supposed to be partially sunny and then more rain. <laughs> and it's like, we're never going to get out of this rain. And the ground is so wet and you'll see, I, we already saw all the flooding. And so that's how my day went today. I hope yours was a better day and a sunny day and no flooding in your area. Well, I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So, bye-bye.